this video i will be sharing how to navigate through the website to your advantage how to use the location integration embedded in it for your optimal advantage i also show you how to reach out to agents these are some of the things i will be highlighting in this video hey guys welcome or welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be sharing with you websites you can use when searching for accommodation as a student in the united kingdom today's video is going to be a continuation of last week's video where i talked about tips on house hunting as a student so if you've not seen that video i'll leave a card up here for you to go watch it or i'll leave the link in the description box below so you can go watch it before you watch this one the thing i love about today's video is how practical it's going to be in the sense of i will be making a screen recording of my laptop to show you the basics, the things you need to type into the search bar of this website for you to get maximum result. Also, I will be highlighting and talking more on the property description just for you to know some of the things you need to look out for when house hunt. My name is Ituno and I love to say look good, feel good and smell. Good. So <laughs> I have my laptop here. So let's get into business. First thing I want you to know is there are different kind of apartments slash accommodation in the United Kingdom that is available to students. There is the private accommodation where you have the living space, you have the bedroom, you have the kitchen, you have the toilet, all to yourself. It may not be bills inclusive. And there is the other one where it's an accommodation or it's an apartment that has five rooms, four rooms, depending on how the accommodation is. And you get to share a common kitchen with everyone and you also get to share like toilets with two or three persons that is the private accommodation there is also the student accommodation which is the one from from your uni and there's also the private student accommodation which is basically you having your room and having you could have your kitchen to yourself or you could have your bathroom to yourself but then you get to share the kitchen with someone or you have your kitchen you have your bathroom and you have your bedroom to yourself in this situation studio apartment now that we've highlighted this and i'm sure we are clear on this uh, let's go ahead to a website where you can get these accommodations moving ahead <laughs> i've shared this into two different sections or let me say segments so that we can understand ourselves better the first segment is websites where you can get private accommodation we have the student accommodation websites where you can get student accommodations that are like bills inclusive you having your bathroom your bed space your kitchen to yourself or having your bedroom to yourself but then you have to share like the toilets and kitchen with people these are the two categories so now based on this you will decide on which of the accommodation suits your need one thing i also want you to note is these websites are websites that are like general listing where different agents go to the website to like list the different properties they manage and also another segment under this is take for example you know how you want to get an accommodation in lagos and you can walk up into like in terms of like estates so i'm going to the estate and ask like the estate office to ask if they have vacant space that they want to rent out I've also made a list of the different accommodations that I've seen around me. You can walk into, ask the concierge if they have like vacant spaces. This is something I also did um, recently. I've listed a couple of, a number of the general websites that is popular, that everybody knows. Now think of Zoopla, Fair Room, Open Rent, Right Move. All these platforms that I've mentioned, each of them have their unique um, qualities. With Spear Room, the way Spear Room works is, for example, you have, you, you rented a two bedroom accommodation and one space is free. You go onto Spear Room, you list the accommodation there and anyone who is interested in getting, in staying in the second room will reach out to you and then you talk about the rent, electricity and everything and then the person moves in. Now the downside to spare room is, I mean, you are moving in with someone who you literally know nothing about. Like you don't know anything about this person. 
I know people who have done it and you know they had like a nice experience but I mean you can't say that for everybody <laughs> right so that's with spare room the other platform I have here is open rent with open rent uh, so now with Zoopla agents are the ones that list like properties there with open rent owner of the property so it's more like the landlord the landlord go to this platform to list their property on the platform with right move right move is also another platform that looks like zoopla now moving on to the next one which where i said you have like different accommodations around you and you can just walk into like walk into the property and ask like the concierge oh um do you have free space blah 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 now i've listed out a couple of them <laughs> and one is living way x1 letting x1 letting is very popular as well you need to live in that with these other um accommodations that i listed they have their own personal website so you can go to the website and look at the accommodations for yourself that is if they have like a picture or a video of what the accommodation looks like moving on we have the student accommodation the student accommodation are mostly enjoyable because of the benefits the perks that comes with it in terms of bills inclusive i've listed a couple of this accommodation and we have amber student amber student is quite popular very very popular i remember when i was coming to the united kingdom they are so they are big on influencers in terms of youtube content creators they use them a lot a whole lot <laughs> so most of the youtubers i watched then they've one way or the other partnered with them to like you know spread the word of the business around iq we have true student x1 as well x1 is not a student accommodation but most students also stay in x1 moving on i'm going to now show you like the practical steps on how to use these platforms to your advantage the first um, website we will be checking is going to be zoopla so now i'm currently on the home page of zoopla as you can see and the first thing is properties to rent you can see on the top page here on the top bar we have for sale to rent new houses house prices and all we want to rent so we'll click to rent and the next thing we want to do is search area so i'm going to add bolton bolton greater manchester then i'm going to choose do i want minimum how many beds like bedroom do i want one or two let's see one now another amazing thing about this thing is one of the benefits is if you are taking a one bedroom apartment or let's say a studio apartment it is pricey compared to when you have when you take like a two bedroom accommodation and you get to share the bill with someone right because that is what i'm going to do when i move out from this place i mean to save enough money before i now get like rent my own personal space you want to do a two bedroom accommodation and get to share the bill with someone don't say i didn't tell you that's one of the advice that's one trick i want also want to share with you so maximum bed maximum like no maximum bed maximum price now how much are you willing to pay monthly remember my last video where i said you need to be realistic enough to decide how much will i be willing how much can i afford on a monthly basis i mean so now let's say i will be able to afford um okay so I, let me change this because i didn't need two bedroom accommodation because i also want us to i also want us to contrast compare and contrast the prices so that you can see that taking a two bedroom accommodation is a smart move so two bedroom so for two bedrooms since i'll be sharing the rent with someone else we can do based on my taste based on what what i want and the other person so let's say we want to do um one two fifty one two fifty this does not include bills at all this is just it depends on the accommodation some accommodation will say okay it you can you get um free wi-fi but you have to pay for lights and all so one two fifty let's see show hall um let's do flats 
here let's do flat so now you can also pick what you want do you want it semi-detached do you want it detached do you want a terraced accommodation or a flat but i want a flat so i'll just pick flat and let's see what it has for us <laughs> so now this is it now it is showing me different um what's it called different accommodation you can you also get to see the the location what it looks like do you think you'll be safe enough in that environment in that vicinity i'm gonna lose as well per month yeah okay you can also do um let's reduce one thousand okay so i've adjusted my what's it called my my requirements what i want minimum price of 1000 maximum price of 1250 right also here you can you get to adjust the area do you want to go like one miles away from boating three miles away from boating so let's say i want to go one miles away from check for neighboring um places that are near to boating and all so this is one hmm this looks good this looks like a living way uh, i knew it <laughs> i knew it it looks like a living way accommodation you remember i said that some of these other websites they also get to list their properties on the general website as well because i've seen this i've gone to visit someone who has like this kind of setting and it's a living way accommodation so this is not bad 1100 it's in Bolton though. Looking at this now, I get to see what the accommodation looks like. I get to see what the accommodation looks like. Available immediately. Deposit. You need to now they've written it there. You deposit the rent is 1100 per month. Two bedroom accommodation, two bathroom as well. The deposit is 1270. So when you get to right when you rent here, you need to pay a deposit first. Then you also pay your first month rent. The council ban, the council tax, the council tax ban is A. You also need to understand and read the description as well. Fully furnished. Fully furnished. I've been to one, so I know it is fully furnished. It has chair, it has not chair, it has sofa, it has your washing machine, your water eater, it has fridge i think does it come with microwave i'm not sure if it comes with microwave and it's it is quite big it has wi-fi included in the rent available car parking close to all transport wow this is beautiful this is amazing it's, it's a big space it's just that it's farther from salford i stay in salford it's in Bolton so you can call the agent the agent number is there you can also if you want to you can email the agent and tell them oh you're interested in this property and they will get back to you they'll get back to you and schedule you for a what's it called now for a viewing right let's wow i love this accommodation this looks good <laughs> this looks good this is beautiful this is beautiful <laughs> let me copy this is beautiful now another thing is if you're someone let's say you're a content creator and you what like obviously a content creator you need natural lighting right looking at this the lighting here is not so great but i love this i love this wow no ways this is you <laughs> guys i'm so excited i love it when i see wow what this is beautiful this is beautiful so it's a two bedroom chapel town road it's a two bedroom two bath accommodation can you see secure gated development two bedroom apartment quality fitted apartment intercom system second floor apartment so now this with this i don't think it is it is it is furnished 
because if it were to be furnished they would have stated it there that it is furnished let's see another one let's see this one i think after this we'll move on to the next um another website so furnished students students can inquire um bills include what <laughs> it's a lie did they say bills included bills included entire large clean two bedroom two bathroom part furnished bills included water gas electricity and council tax i'm trying as much as possible to be detailed enough so that we can understand this better now let's see where should we see let's see liverpool what we can do let's do Salford. so now we are doing to rent yeah now this is another platform a general platform where agents list like their, their properties and all so a one mile right so price how much am i willing to pay monthly let's see one thousand maximum one three bedroom two bedroom and two bedroom property type flats oh bungalows land blah, so one flat added to site i mean 14 14 days let's say seven days so now let's go find properties now here is it Suffolk can be quite pricey for some reason i honestly don't know so let's look at this first one that we have here i'm slouching <laughs> let's look at this first one that we have here i hope you guys are with me because it's as if i'm just talking to myself at this point so this is it okay it has a video let's see if the video will play okay so this is what the video looks like just to show you how the accommodation looks like so let's yeah so in a situation where you don't have someone to help you look at the accommodation this is a video to show you what the accommodation looks like think this accommodation is, is not furnished i don't think so so two bedroom i knew it's unfurnished um unique design 12 month tenancy two bathrooms available 05 2024 so this is it now looking at this i don't think it has it doesn't have a gym but looking at it it is unfurnished for 1250 12 month tenancy so some of them some of these agents want you to like stay with them for like six months or 12 months now and uh, an advantage for you could be if you are doing like three months or six months when you are tired of that space you can always move out but in a situation where you are you've done like a year lease not like a year lease but like a year contract you can't move out or, or except you get someone to like replace you now an advantage of getting a contract is that because rent in the uk like they said it increases every year so in a situation where you have like a contract of more than a year with like your agent or your landlord if he or she's increasing the rent it wouldn't affect you because you already have like a contract i hope that makes sense now the same way um zupla is you can call the agent you can request for more details and this is it and they get to reach out back to you then let's go back let's see another one ah this is beautiful this is beautiful look at the lighting jesus whoa look at the lighting Mm, but the lighting in the bedroom is not so great why will you have this good lighting in the living room and you don't have a good lighting in the bedroom make it make sense please 
so this is it accommodation unfurnished unfurnished for that price that's a thing two bedroom fantastic view unfurnished I trap so wow wow look at this as well this looks good one two take more go uh, a friend of mine stays in this place wow this is is lush i love it unfurnished man why why i breed working facilities luxury apartment double glaze it doesn't have okay it has a dishwasher it doesn't have a gym you can't build an accommodation that is this fine and not have a gym make it make sense i mean right so let's go now you get to see the comparison so we have one two here we have one one fifty we have one three we have one three this is not bad as well what i mean you want to that's why i said this is this doesn't pay because if you are paying one three for a studio or for a one bedroom accommodation and you can get a two bedroom accommodation for one two and you get to share the bill with someone so at the end of the month you are paying 600 600 or 500 500 right girl math <laughs> girl math because i mean you also have to be smart hmm Spare room for flat share, house share, flat share, and all. So, let's see. So, like I said, you get to like share your accommodation or your apartment with someone. So, let's say someone has like someone rented like a two bedroom accommodation, and the person has um, a free space. The person can get you into the building or into his accommodation. So, let's see. Um, Salford. Let's see. Salford, yes, let's see Salford keys and see. So you can see rooms, flatmates, body ops. I don't know what that body ops mean, but flatmate, let's see flatmates. So, like I said, you get to see people actually come there to list their what's it called their rooms out. So let's say this one says professional male seeks a single or double room. I'm looking for it. I'm i'm looking for a single or double room i'm available to move from blah 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 and it says okay his but his budget is 500 per month this woman says she's looking for a flat or house share she's willing to pay 750 per month you get to see different people so based on this you can let's say i'm someone who has my um, apartment on this platform i can come here and reach out to the person let's see based on my phone is about to die let's go back and see so i think that's because i said flat meat so let's say room let's say suffered because like i said you need to use the right the right words so now look okay yeah this is it so this one says two room available on keys three on keys three bedroom flats 570 to 620 per month i'm renewing on my third on my three bed to bathroom flat and have two rooms available to move in flat is a stunning location on Salford key so you get to see they had the pictures as well this is what it looks like right so you get to see okay so i think these are the spare room that the person has so you get to see what it looks like and you get to see like the details gym in the building parcel collection room everything and now with this the person may say he or she wants pets the person may say he or she does not want pets because i mean you are moving into someone's space although you are paying your rent but it is still that person's space so the person said pets so now the person this is the person who is currently living there she doesn't she doesn't have any pets she's not a smoker she said new flatmate preference couples no she doesn't want couples she doesn't want someone who smokes she's okay with having a pet minimum age 23 maximum age 33 so 
they list out like the different things that they want um from whoever will be moving into the space with them so now to the other um to the other website where i said you can check for private um accommodations i love filament so much so let me see i don't think i've okay do they so they ha, do they have an accommodation in in Salford? Cause filament is at city center. Yes, it's around city center. So fil, renting a filament, right? This accommodation is kind of it's a luxurious accommodation, <laughs> right? So let's see. Hopefully they have their prices on the website because some of them don't have their. They don't have their prices especially this private okay they added it so let's see two bedroom 1380 oh you can't i was thinking you'll be able to okay so let's see the tour they have a video um let's see okay living way let's see okay so this is living way let's see um pets welcome free wi-fi on site team and all let's see find your own roof us go whatever whatever so let's see liverpool two bedrooms this is quite pricey 1650 for their two bedroom so now this also depends on the location remember we saw this on right move for one three a two bedroom for living way but in liverpool they are saying it is 1650 so sometimes the location also affects the prices of this accommodation right so now that we are done with this let's look at student accommodation so let's see amber students quite popular it's very very popular among students so they have different like they have different accommodation so cross cross so let's see let's look at liverpool because that's another location we can look at so these are places in liverpool accommodations in liverpool so when you check you can see what the rooms look like view rooms you get to see internet water electricity that's what i said about student accommodation it is bills inclusive internet water electricity gas everything is included study area communal cleaning wi-fi general eating cooking vacuums everything is included in it right and can you see they said 73 students viewed this property in the last 24 hours so that's to tell you that a lot of people are interested in this so you can do acquire now you had your name your email address mobile number and submit when you do this they get it on the back end and they reach out to you what you can do is they said if you are not interested any longer you can cancel like nobody's going to kill you you are going to cancel and they're going to refund like maybe your deposit or something this is another one this is 130 per per week Per week this has gym included it is bills included as well laundry facility as well another accommodation is let's see this looks beautiful let's see this one why is it okay let's see this one so 21 student viewed this as well this is it this is it this looks like um, a kitchen that is general so let's say maybe two two to three people uh make use of the kitchen right this is ambassador so ambassador is a private i don't know if it is a private but i know it's a student accommodation where um everything all the accommodations you are getting there is bills inclusive right let's see another one there's this other one um iq iq let's see iq okay yes i found it iq student accommodation 
as well so let's see let's see manchester let's see university of manchester so okay so now yeah this is it so they have beautiful accommodations as well accept all cookies so yeah let's see this this is quite pricey jesus 339 per week what the wow wow so double bed shared kitchen shared bathroom shared bathroom and i'm paying 339 per week separate bedroom balcony fridge blah blah that's ridiculous I'm sharing bathroom and kitchen for three thirty nine per week. Abi, am I seeing? Am I seeing double? Am I seeing double? It looks beautiful, but then that's too much. <laughs> that's a lot of money. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of money. So you can also see like the difference. Three ninety per week. That's like one three monthly guys that's it that's going to be the end of today's video if you have any question or you think i omitted something please do well to leave it in the comment section and i will try as much as possible to address it i've listed out a couple of websites you can look at zoopla spear room right move open rent I've also list listed private accommodations like um, Living Way, Filament, Edda. I've listed X1 as well. Then student, student accommodation, I listed Amber Students and I also listed IQ. So these are, I mean, I've given you a lot of options. So you just go on to this website, weigh your options, ensure you read the description so well. And if you see that you've already gotten one, you can just like send an email to the agent or you can also like um, give the agent a call. Now with the other option of, is this is that spare room or open rent? The one where you get like chats with like the landlord itself. Now this is going to be easier because now you're bridging the gap between, you know, you reaching out to agents because with agents, they have a number of people who they take to like view these accommodations on a daily basis, right? On a daily basis at different times some people some people have list um viewings for 1 pm 2 pm a new set of people coming again to view that apartment but in a situation where you have like direct access like the landlord it makes it easier because you get like communicate what you want what you need with the landlord so these are some of the pros and the cons of some of these platforms so i hope I have addressed the question on how to look for accommodation as a student in the United Kingdom because when I dropped last week's video, a lot of you left comments as to now you've told us the tips. Okay, give us the platforms where we can get this accommodation, where we can search for this accommodation. So I hope that I've done justice to that. And if I haven't and you think I missed something, please do well to leave it in the comment section below so much for watching this video till this very point and if you've not subscribed at this point what are you waiting for like why i'm looking you in the high why what are you waiting for so do well to hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification bell so that whenever i upload new videos like this in the future you'll be the first person to be notified also do not forget to like do not forget to share as well and do not forget like i always say that you are enough and you matter everything is figure outable and like i say now <laughs> don't forget to smell good because i mean if you smell good you look good if you look good you're gonna feel good <laughs> so yeah guys to smell good look good and feel good so until the next video see you guys in my next one bye guys